बेलायत को हाउस अफ लर्ड अर्थात उपल्लो सदन में नेपाल में बढ़ते गई रहे कोविड नाइन्टीन संक्रमण विरुद्ध को लड़ाई में बेलायत को सहभागिता होने बहस ने प्रवेश पाएमित रूप में बस्ने गलो सदन को बिहार को छलफल ने सहयोग करने विषय में केन्द्रित थी निके छोटो चले बैठक में नेपाल बेलायत का हरित मोर्चा में सहयोग हमी हाल ने भोग संगकट में सहयोग वक्ता राय थी इस बारे में पूरा जानकारी का इस भिडियो अंत्यसम हेन हो चैनल सब्सक्राइब करी ये ये समाचार मूलक ताजा जानकारी हेला अब हेन बस को छोटो अंश बेलायत को सदन बा My lords, my right honourable friend, the Prime Minister has made it clear that equitable access is an integral part of the UK's approach to vaccine distribution. The United Kingdom has provided £548 million to Covax, which has already delivered over 59 million doses across three continents. This includes 348,000 doses to Nepal. In total, Covax has allocated almost 2 million doses to Nepal, which will be delivered free of charge. We will share the majority of any future domestic vaccine surplus with Covax. आपने बनाए रखते हैं लॉर्ड लैंकास्टर ऑफ किंबोल्टन ने नेपाल लाइव बीस लाख खोप उपलब्ध कराऊं ना उन रूप का नुवेक थियो। For over 200 years, through every conflict and crisis our nation has faced, the brave men of Nepal have fought and died for the cry for the crown. Now, as COVID spreads across the North Indian plain. Nepal faces a crisis of its own. So can I simply ask the reassurance from my noble friend as the air corridor opens this evening that an, that enduring comradeship that has stretched across the centuries will result in us doing everything we possibly can to support our ally. My lords may I return the compliment in paying tribute to my noble friend for his work and his advocacy for Nepal. नेपाल लगायत विकास उन्मुख राष्ट्र बेलायत ने खूब उपलब्ध कराव पहल कर सके करीब तीन लाख पचास हजार को बैक्स छुटाई सकते कुछ सदन सरकार को तरफ बा लर्ड अहमद अफ बेम्बल्टन ने जानकारी दूंभ दुई दिन अगाड़ी मेपाल का परराष्ट्र मंत्री सब छलफल यहाँ स्थित नेपाली दूतावास का प्रतिनिधिसिटे भेटे आपको योजना राख्ने अहमद ने सदन लाइन An oxygen generation plant at the Nepal Police Hospital, and we are working on the ground through our embassy and indeed officials within the FCDO and the MOD to see what further support can be extended at the earliest opportunity. Lord Campbell Saver, my lords, despite the work of Covax, is not the absence of an effective international vaccine manufacturing and distribution system that meets world demand. perfectly illustrated by Nepal's reported difficulties particularly when the Serum Institute the world's largest manufacturer is situated in Pune in Maharashtra state in India next door to Nepal and with an 8 billion world population at risk with potentially only a 4 billion worldwide double dosage manufacturing capacity as yet unrealized How can we? How can world demand be met? First of all, I think the challenges that have been uh, evidenced. Uh, the noble lord mentions the Serum Institute in India, an institute I know well as the minister for India, and of course the challenges in India in terms of the current wave sweeping across the country are well known. What we have seen is a stepping up in terms of manufacturing, a stepping up in terms of collaboration, and indeed the United Kingdom's structured approach to the Covax facility. demonstrates the importance as the noble lord himself acknowledges for a global supply chain which guarantees the distribution of vaccines across uh, the world on covid-19 October. yes the disastrous surge in cases has now not surprisingly spread to nepal we're likely to see this pattern replicated worldwide yet it's reported that the uk has stopped adding to the global vaccination efforts when we cut aid So how can we claim as we have that we'll be leading the world at the G7 in recovery from the pandemic if we can't even do that? Here here. Lord, and that's just not the case. We are leading the efforts uh, along with other key partners on vaccines 
And again, as I said in my original answer, any surplus vaccines that we encounter here in the United Kingdom will be distributed through the COVAX scheme. My Lord, Nepal and United Kingdom have one of the oldest diplomatic relations within South Asia. A friendship represented by generations of Gurkha soldiers and mountaineers. Can my noble friend, the minister, please outline what other steps are being taken to engage with the Nepalese government to better understand their needs and to ensure that humanitarian support is provided in the most effective way possible. Lord, uh, in response to my noble friend, I've already alluded to the cross-government approach as well as the structured approach we're engaging with the Nepalese government directly, both in Kathmandu as well as here in the UK. We're sending experts in terms of technical support and also assisting their Ministry of Health in terms of their responses. And we will continue with a very active dialogue both in Kathmandu and in London. The Earl of Sandwich. My Lords, this is an emergency on the scale of Nepal's civil war or the 2015 earthquake. Is the UK responding adequately, especially to the local demand for vaccines and oxygen? The Minister will be well aware of the current fragility of government and of rural health services, but there are also many experienced NGOs supporting clinics there, both Nepalese and international, with safe supply lines. Are we making full use of those? Lords, I can assure the noble world we're looking at all key players to ensure that the response and the requirements of Nepal can be met in the best possible manner from the United Kingdom and indeed working with other international partners. <laughs> आशा गरौं बेलायती मेलिटरी मेडिकल टिम को कोविड खुब सहित राहत लिएर छिटै नेपाल अवतरण गर्नेछ यस महामारीमा घरमै बसेर आफुता आफ्नाहरुलाई सुरक्षित राख्न मद्दत गर्नुहोस् हामीसँग जोडिन हाम्रो च्यानललाई सब्स्क्राइब तथा बेल आइकनमा क्लिक गर्न नभुल्नु होला धन्यवाद